Hi everybody, welcome back to Starfield and in this video I just want to talk about how long it takes to finish Starfield, what sort of quests and missions you need to do to get to the end of Starfield. But before I start I just want to say is there may well be some spoilers in this. I'll try to avoid them but you may well see things that give you clues about how the game ends. Okay, so how long does it take to get to the end? Well I'm about to do kind of the, the kind of final mission and you probably know already the fact that the final mission in Starfield in the storyline isn't the final mission because then we go into New Game Plus and I'm not going to talk about what New Game Plus is in this video but it's very very interesting and it definitely makes you want to continue playing Starfield okay so as far as I've gone if we look at my loads we can see here we are I'm at the top so three days 23 hours 37 minutes so basically um, What's that? That's 100 hours, isn't it? I've put into Starfield on my first playthrough. Now, I haven't tried to mainline the quest or the stories or anything like that. And I also haven't tried to do everything. So if we go into my um, missions and go to completed, let's have a look. Uh, as you can see, I've done quite a lot of the constellation ones, as you'd expect to get through there. Um, uh, let's have a look and then done a couple of sort of transport missions did one free star collective missions did a lot of work with the pirates with the crimson Fl crimson fleet basically i turned into a pirate by a little bit by mistake to be honest um and then we've got uh, these are just general missions aren't they more constellation stuff did I joined Vanguard um, and did a fair bit of work with the with the UC, um, but again, the problem I had was I, I kind of I made a few mistakes and became a pirate, which which was kind of okay. Um, and that's it, really. That's all the missions you can see. So the, there's whole chunks of the game, massive chunks of the game, I've missed out around um, playing um, with the uh, Freestar Collective and then going to Neon and doing all the side missions there and even with um, things like uh, crafting and building bases I haven't really done that much of that I've done about I've built about four simple outposts but I never really used them to generate that much resources to, to farm that sort of thing because quite simply on your first playthrough you don't really need to do that unless you really really want to um, now you'll also notice which might be interesting that I've still got the frontier ship um, and you can use that to finish the game However, you do need to upgrade it quite a lot. And also, what's very important is your skills need to be better as well. So within Starfield, to make certain aspects of the, the game play better, to make yourself more powerful, so for example, the ship, you can make the ship better by adding better modules to it, like better engines and a better uh, core, better weapons and stuff. But you've also got your skill points that you can apply to your skill tree. Um, so for example we've got like ballistic weapon systems so if we open up all these skills our, our guns become better on the ship but also we can put better guns on the ship as well so it's a kind of a combination of the two but the one that you're probably going to want to have the one that helped me a lot was uh, is the astral engineering one here at astral dynamics so increase the grab jump range and reduce full cross by 30% because when you get near to the end of the game there's some quite long jumps you have to do um, and unless you have more fuel tanks attached to your, your ship which you can do or you unlock these skills you can't jump far enough to get to those planets so you've got to kind of go off and do other stuff as well um, other essential ones let's go through a few i would say increasing your shield systems to rank four is very 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 important you probably if you just started playing starfield and you've got into a few scraps in space you know if you're up against serious competition you just you can get melted really really quickly but as soon as your shields are up to you know rank four where your shields will occasionally resist 100 percent of all damage received well you're just not taking the same damage and you don't have to eat through ship parts and things like that um what else have we got security i went up to rank three the doing the digital locks the digi locks you do get lots of stuff behind doors um and I would say probably for the first half of the game, I really enjoyed the puzzles. But then you kind of get bored of them by the end. So having things that make that process easier is good. But if you want to unlock the harder 
locks. Oh, well, if you want to be able to attempt the harder locks, you need to go up that one. And um, what else we got? Piloting. Um, I went to rank three because I needed to pilot a class B ship that I that I captured. Uh, but you don't need that for uh, boost pack training. You definitely need to unlock at least rank one of that so you have access to the boost pack. Ballistic weapons are better. Um, what else we have here? We talked about astrodynamics already. Um, spacesuit design, weapon engineering. I didn't really do any crafting at all. So I was looking forward to doing that, but I didn't really need to do it. Surveying, I made my scanner a little bit better. Didn't really make much difference though. Combat, pistols better, lasers better. Um, swords better, ballistics better, demolitions, grenades better. I mean, they were useful grenades, but they're very dangerous. Social, this was very useful. So I got up to rank two in social. And what I would also do is, before I was going into encounter where I knew that I was going to have to try and persuade someone, I would take some of the drug that did that. So that was good. Um, and then physical. I had stealth, so I had the stealth bar, but it didn't really make um, that much difference. So they were kind of the upgrades I want. So about 100 hours to get to this point. I can go off and do the last bit now. Not necessary, but hopefully that gives you an idea. And oh, I've, I will say, it's been fun all of the way. But that's enough from me. Hope you found the video useful. If you have hit like, once you want to subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.